Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of adenomyosis with Nebothian cysts. A 27 years old female patient came with dysmenorrhea and menorrhagia. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus in transvaginal sonography. You can see the entomyometrium is broader than the posterior one and it looks quite inhomogeneous. You can see the endometrium at this part looks like getting pushed backward but there is no pseudo capsule which will help us make it a case of fibroid. So this heterogeneous broad entomyometrium goes in favor of adenomyosis but we want to go a little more. You can see multiple tiny cystic structures at the cervical region which we will talk later. If you look at the junction between the endometrium and myometrium, you can see some tiny anechoic cystic spaces here. These fine tiny cystic spaces are very important feature for adenomyosis. Here's the transverse section and you still can see this heterogeneous entomyometrium. It is very important to understand your machine resolution. If you switch between multiple machines, then adenomyosis or this inhomogeneous appearance may make you confused. But when you are working in a single machine for a long time, then you may not avoid this inhomogeneous texture. Here's again the longitudinal section with a focus towards the cervix and you can see multiple well-defined anechoic cystic spaces having postacoustic enhancements at the cervical myometrium. These are the Nebothian cysts. Here's the longitudinal and transverse section of the uterus and you can see this is the endometrium. This part of the endometrium is getting bulged which are making us confused and tell us to look for the entomyometrial abnormality. Here's the measurement. The uterus is slightly bulky, not a very prominent feature as this is a very early case of adenomyosis. Here is a little magnified view and you can see this inhomogeneous entomyometrium quite well here. You can see these tiny cystic spaces which I will show you in another picture. The entomyometrial thickness is more than the postomyometrium. Here is again another magnified image and you can see the entomyometrium is showing tiny cystic spaces here at the junction between the endometrium and myometrium. Another picture and you can see the inhomogeneous entomyometrium with tiny cystic spaces at the endomyo junction. So in summary, the uterus is slightly bulky, the entomyometrium is thicker than the posterior one, the entomyometrium is inhomogeneous with numerous tiny cystic spaces seen at the endomyo junction. There are multiple small well-defined round to oval anechoic cystic structures of variable size casting posterior acoustic enhancements are seen within the cervical myometrium. So this feature suggested as a case of adenomyosis with cervical nebothian cysts. Now the take home message. Adenomyosis won't show pseudocapsule but the fibroid will. If you have seen our previous videos on fibroid uterus, you have noticed that we have focused a lot about this pseudocapsule. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.